Hey, hi guys, Jimmy, what's up, and welcome, welcome back. Today we're here for a new, long-awaited cigarette review. Today we're going to be doing something new, something different, something I have tried, but I really haven't got an opinion on it because it was just a quick cigarette. I didn't really get to enjoy it. I was in a hurry, and I bummed one off of someone, uh, and I had peace up, get back to something I was doing. So today we're going to be doing a review, or tonight we're going to be doing a review on the Camel Crush Rich. This is supposed to replace the Camel Crush Bold. Now, these the Bold came out long before I started smoking Camel. I only recently started smoking Camel Crush. I used to smoke Camel Wides and Blues, but I didn't really smoke Crush when I was in high school. I couldn't get into them or whatever. I just hadn't tried them yet, and I didn't really know much about them. But, um, like I said, I hadn't tried them. And so, I didn't get to try the bold. Now, the bold was bold because this is what I heard was some FDA um, mandations and whatnot. Um, had them pulled because they weren't releasing safety information on the filters or whatever. They would, wouldn't release the information for whatever reason. Uh, I did open them. I didn't smoke a cigarette. I took the foil out. And I took the filter and I put it back. But, um, you know, anyway... Uh, looking at the pack, you know, it says Camel Crush Rich, and then it has a reflective red ball with a camel, and a white sun, kind of like the rich hat, or the bold, and it has a green band around, or green glow around it, you can't see it anymore, but, you know, anyway, it says Camel Crush, one click, changes everything, own the moment. Uh, spark out over here and all the information and whatnot. Uh, Surgeon Journal is running. Nice smart. Alright, opening the pack, you get a 50 cent soft. Your next purchase of any camel crush rich. Any camel. So I'm going to go get some. My camels are coming out some money. Sorry about that. Uh, before I get ahead, bottom is different. It has camel. Rich. It's covered with a tax stamp, but on the side it has this metallic apple red uh, <coughs> thing, uh, border around it, or thing here. So that's how you can tell they're authentic, I think. You can't really see it, but it's definitely red. Oh, there you go. You can see it. It's red right there. Uh, and it also... Uh, all the different color coded for each pack. I believe. Taking a cigarette out of the, opening the pack first, you have 20 Class A cigarettes with a cork style filter. Uh, no, on the inside it says menthol and demand 1 800 rich. It has a number here, an 800 number. Camel.com and has a website. Sorry, I was reading it. I can't read in the dark. Taking a cigarette out of the pack. Uh, I have smoked these, so I do know what they look like. Put it behind my ear for a sec while I put it down. Um, make sure to see if it packed. Oh, they did pack a little. I'm going to pack them more. Without crushing the click bead. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to be able to um, taste that menthol, that paper, right off the bat. Sorry, I'm kind of like all over the place. I'm really whack right now. I'm tired. I am going to use this camel coupon next time I get some money in my hands. Um, looking at it, it says crush in a dark blue. You can't really see it because it's so dark on here at night but and it won't focus. Um, and it has a dark blue camel with a silver band and no arrows. It's a lot longer than like a camel crush full flavor. But really quick, comparing the pack to side by side with Nat Sherman pack. Uh, they seem, because they're made with the same people basically. Let me make sure. You know what? Nat Sherman's don't say who they're made by RJ or not, but I believe they're made by RJ, both of these. Uh, which you can see, Camel, they're about the same size. Um, they're both standard size cigarettes. Uh, but looking at it, it has a white cork style filter. White compact filter on the inside with a cork style outside wrap. Uh, Something a little different. I don't see any perforations in this, but that just might be because it's dark. Oh, there they are. Like all the camels, they're right below the click bead. 
uh, smelling it. A nice, mm, almost chocolatey, sweet, rich smell. Definitely a nice, strong tobacco smell. I'm going to pack this just a tiny bit more because uh, I like to get a slow burn and pack some light tobacco on the inside. Ah, there we go. That's nice. You can see I got it nice and packed. Uh, like that. Um... Almost like a Camel Turkish Royale smell, but it's very chocolatey and very sweet. Oh, I can smell this all night. Oh, man, that smells like a Camel Turkish Royal. Oh, smells good, though. Taking a dry pop off the filter. Almost like that Camel Turkish Royale. Royal. I want to say Royale, not English. I watched an uh, English YouTuber cigarette review. I watched a couple of them. So kind of where <coughs> where's the house? <coughs> it gets a, almost like a chocolatey sweet taste off the bat, like a Camel Turkish Royal. Without further ado, let's get the Camel Crush Rich a light. Mm. Okay, not bad off the bat. A little, it's not as strong as I thought. Um, for being a bold cigarette, it's a little, a little weak right off that first pull. It doesn't have a real, um, it's not as sweet as I thought. It's not as sweet as it smells. It is a little sweet, uh, but it's not as sweet as I thought. Let me get my ashtray really quick. Hold on. Alright, um, I'm just using a Coke can as an ashtray that I... Decent body right off the bat and a good bold, almost bold taste. Um, very, not bland, I wouldn't say, but it's not on the bland side at all. It's definitely got a nice, rich, bold taste to it. Uh, it's got some nice, strong tobacco tones with like a hint of sweetness. Uh, but it's, um, and a little bit of ashy taste right off the bat. But I noticed all Click B cigarettes, they do lack some taste, but this has a little more than most. But, uh, Click Beads before you click the bead are kind of weak and bland tasting. As you can see, the inhales are fine. It goes down perfect, smooth. Um, it's not as rough as you think. Um, and I've, I've been smoking Nat Sherman's all day. I smoked half a pack today, and those are rough on the throat and hard on the chest. So, comparing, not comparing, but saying, switching from these to those, these are a little bit lighter, in my opinion. It is a quick burner. It does burn even all the way around. It's got a nice cherry to it. It's nice and a little bit higher spot right there compared to the rest. There's almost like a dip, and then it goes higher, and a dip. It is a quick burner, even though I packed it. Inhales, they go down fine. You know, nothing. It's not too rough. It's not as harsh as I thought. Um, it's, 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 um, it's got hints of, like, a Camel Turkish Royal taste to it. Before I click that bead. Um, just take a deep lung inhale and then crack the bead. Yeah, it goes down fine. Maybe it's a little harsh, but that could just, like I said, that could be just because I'm smoking Nash Sherman's all day. Um, let's go ahead and crack that menthol bead. Give it a squeeze and a roll. Got a squeeze and a roll. I'm hungry right now. I'm suddenly craving Sonic, and I have never had, I haven't had Sonic, I don't think, in years. I haven't had it since I was like a kid. In like 10 years I haven't had Sonic. Okay, wow. You know, it's a very lighter, it's a lighter tasting menthol. But that might just like, my taste buds might be fucked because I smoked a pack of Nat Sherman's today. Honestly. But it's um... It loses its kind of like rich tobacco taste. It's still, it still hints at it. And then it's got this sweetness to it. And then it's got this nice menthol. It's got a nice strong mint taste to it. Uh, which is, and it's cooling. 
I feel it right here in my chest. I feel it in my chest, my throat, my nose. Sometimes menthols can be harsh. This one isn't really. Um, it's still going. It's still burning. It's burning okay. It's burning a little quick. A little quicker than I'd like. Um, it is a little rough once you take it down. I'm noticing it's getting a little rougher and it's getting a lot stronger menthol to it. Uh, so let's take a deep low inhale and see how it goes down. This is a slow burning cigarette. It's probably been burning for five minutes. And the filter, I forgot to mention. Uh, yeah. The filter is a standard length filter. You know, it's not too short, not too long. It's got an average size filter, as you can see. I'm, I'm really enjoying this cigarette. I think this is an easy chain smokable cigarette compared to Nat Sherman's because Nat Sherman's aren't really chainable, honestly. They don't really chain smoke well. They're so harsh and strong, they make you sick. I'm kind of dick sick right now. But getting back on topic, uh, deep lung inhales are fine. They go down fine. You know, it's, it's a little rough. And now I'm noticing there's a little bit of a slight hint of sweetness picking up here. And let's blow down my nose and see if that sweetness picks up a little more. No, it is definitely minty coming out of my nose. Um, so I'm going to put this out. I'm going to put this in my ashtray here. Uh, so jumping into some ratings really quick. I give this a solid... 9.8 out of 10. It's a little weak and it's a little bland tasting. I think it kind of lacks nicotine. Maybe that's just because my tolerance is so fucked right now because, like I said, I smoked a pack today. Uh, I don't recommend smoking a pack a day of cigarettes, to be honest. Uh, putting my coupon back in my pack of smokes because I can get money off. 50 cents off my next pack. It's not much, but that's more. That's their. 880 a pack, so that's seven something. I'm not good at math, but <coughs> I digress. Well, now these things don't want to go in. And I forgot to mention that the foil did not rip fine, it ripped all the way around. Some Camel Crush does that, a lot of them do. A lot of the RJ Reynolds cigarettes do, Paul Malls do it a lot. Give me a sec, I'm stalling. But anywho, definitely chain smokable cigarettes. Uh, so you guys enjoyed this. Thank you. Comment, like, subscribe. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next. Thanks for watching and peace.